We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, Liberty will never perish. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite! unite! In a time of domestic crisis, men of goodwill and generosity should be able to unite regardless of party or politics. Millions of despairing men, women and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture, and imprison innocent people. Senators John McCain and Carl Levin want to declare, want to enact a law that would declare the entire United States of America a battlefield for the military. The National Defense Authorization Act is hideous. What it does is it allows the military to act inside the United States. Would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? I think that as long as that uh, individual uh, no matter who they are, if they pose a threat to the security of the United States of America, should not be allowed to continue that threat. U.S. citizens could also be considered terrorist suspects. That means anyone inside the U.S. can be detained by the military, not cops, by the military, and said, hey, you know what, we suspect you of terrorism, we will hold one quick military hearing, you will not get a trial, and sad day for you, uh, we can keep you forever. Your elected officials, both the Senate, and the House of Representatives have just overwhelmingly passed the National Defense Authorization Act. Stop hurting these people, man! Why are you doing this to our people? I will go to jail tonight because it's not right, and I'm not. I'm not. I will not stand by. And just watch.